On this Palooza webisode, we'll see one of the stops fish make along the way to your local fish store. We'll take a look at a great new product by Wondersafe called Eco Biostone, and we'll stop by an amazing fish store called Something Fishy in Cleveland, Ohio. Most of the fish we buy for our aquariums comes from hundreds, if not thousands of miles away, and they make us several stops during their journey. One such stop is Tropical Fish Distributors in Ohio. We've been invited over. Let's go take a look. Hey, how are you? Come on in. Welcome to Tropical Fish Distributors in Wycliffe, Ohio. We're here with the owner, Joe Laura. Hi. Joe, big place. 6,000 square feet, I'm guessing? Yeah, in that area, yes. Probably, again, I'm guessing seven to 800 tanks? Yes. And we didn't even rehearse that. So you got seven <laughs> or 800 tanks. You, it's basically what it looks like. It's kind of like a layover plan for fish. You have fish that come in from different areas, and you kind of keep them for a little while, right? Kind of explain that a little we bit. We bring them in from all over the world, uh, Asia, Africa, South America, and uh, we bring some fish in from Florida, too. And uh, we buy them in larger quantities, and then we break them into smaller lots and sell them to the pet shops. When you talk about economy of scale, at some point on every other Monday, probably, as you said, you're bringing in almost between 80 and 100,000 minnows and feeder goldfish. Yes. So I think that would keep you hopping a little bit here on a well, Monday night. It, it's, it's not that bad. It takes about 45 minutes to put them away. So basically, the fish come in, they're kind of held here for a specific amount of time where you look at them, feed them, medicate them, and make sure that when you ship them to the store, whoever's ordering them, that they're okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what would you say fish-wise going out here per week? In numbers of fish, it's hard to put up a, a, a quantity on it, but it's, it's tens of thousands of fish. So, interesting thing about an order, though, is that you can have a $500 order and it could have one fish or you can have a $500 order and it can be three pages of fish. Yes, it's just can. a matter of what they're yes. basically ordering. Yes. So all these different tanks, six to 700, 800 different tanks, you're gonna let us check out a couple of sure, them? Sure, of course. Well, let's yeah. go this way and see okay. them. Okay, check it out. Joe, well, before you have to bag the fish, you have to catch them. Give right. us an idea what Katie's doing. Uh, Katie's working off a pick list that takes her to the individual tanks and gives you the quantities of fish that need to be caught out of that tank. So on the pick ticket is a tank number. She goes to the tank number, she picks up the fish, and you better not give him one extra fish, right, or he's going to holler at you. I never do that. And once she does this, <laughs> she moves on to the next Right, till the, till the order is filled. You fill up a cart, sometimes it's two, three carts to an order. And I, uh, I, if, I, if you can read and you can count, you can work here. Cordon is your trusted source for premium aquarium products. Amquel Plus eliminates ammonia and nitrates. Novaqua Plus removes heavy metals and chlorine while adding a protective slime coating, vitamins, and electrolytes. And Ick Attack controls Ick and is reef friendly. Visit Cordon.com to check out the entire line of products. Cordon, trusted solutions since 1961. Joe, we're at a station here. I would imagine it's bagging and shipping and prepping. Give us an idea, and what are all these fish doing? Well, uh, this is an order for a pet shop, and uh, the order pullers have pulled the order, and they've, they've brought the order to the bagging station. Uh, some fish you have, to, you have to do one to a bucket. Some fish you can put 12 or 25 in a bucket to, because you can bag them that way. Uh, is it based on the species or the, or the size of them? Uh, there's a lot of things uh, involved. Uh, an expensive fish, you don't want to take a chance putting more than one in a bag because they're going to be in that bag for 6, 8, 10, 12 hours. Uh, it's going to be dark. They're going to be bumped around. They can bite each other. They can, they can fight with each other. It's, it's, if, if, if one fish dies, it can make a toxic situation in, in, in the water. Uh, the ammonia will go up and all the fish will die. Now, the, the ones that he's bagging, and we'll get to that in a second, are, we, are you overnighting all these, or are they some that are being just delivered right to the stores? Uh, we, we, we deliver fish three different ways. We deliver in our own vehicle, actually four. People, customers come in and pick up their order. Uh, we deliver in our own vehicle to the three surrounding states, uh, New York, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania. 
Uh, we also air freight uh, fish. We take them to the airport. They get shipped all over all over the United States, including uh, Alaska and Hawaii. And then we FedEx fish. Uh, in the daytime, we FedEx fish to people too. Okay, explain a little bit of what he's doing. Uh, Sean's our nighttime manager. He's in charge of the night crew, and um, he starts off the night by by bagging fish as the order pullers bring them to him. When the orders get backed up. Uh, uh, Sean uh, gets another person to help bag on our second station. These these machines are clipping machines. In the old days, we used to take rubber bands and tie the, the bags tight with rubber bands. The clipping machine, it's it's actually a sausage tying machine. Uh, if you go into a uh, grocery store and you look at the bologna and salami and hams, you'll notice there's a clip on the end of each one of those lunch meats. And this is a machine that does it. Is he putting in oxygen into each one of those? Yeah, there's oxygen being put in the machine. The oxygen we actually make, we have a we have an oxygen maker in the back room that uh, uh, takes the air and uh, uh, creates a mixture of oxygen and, uh, and, and nitrogen, the right mixture for the fish. On a, on a given night, like tonight, how many orders on average do you fill in one uh, evening? Anywhere between eight and 20 orders go out a night. It's about all you can do. For many of the fish, this may be their second or third stop in their travels. And the time they spend here literally gives them a chance to catch their breath before they make that final trip to your local fish store. So that's a wrap from Tropical Fish Distributors in Wycliffe, Ohio. Another great excuse segment, me, Frank, seven or 800 tanks. Frank, excuse me, cut. Look, we're, cut. Be, we're behind. You're I know, and I, I appreciate been, the time. I really do. It was well, great. Well, I appreciate Thank it too, you. but I need these orders pulled. And you know your fish. They're doing great. You know how to read. What? You can count to 100. How about giving us a hand? This should take, a novice like you, should take about two hours. Two hours? There you go. <laughs> Joe! Everything, you can read English, right? Fine. You know what? You can handle I'll it. I'll show you picking, brother. All right. You wait. All right. Weekend, something expensive dies. I never check it. Oh. Joe! Huh? What? If Wait. that was a clock, it would say only 10 minutes it took me to do your two hour but show. But it's not a clock, it's a thermometer. I, I hope fish. you can read this better than you can read that. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Frank. See you. I appreciate you forgot to punch in. I love fish. <laughs>